Hey guys, Lewis here. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This is an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with Big Brother 7 winner Pete. As you know, on the Big Brother 7 reunion last week, uh, Pete wasn't feeling too good, uh, so he didn't participate as much as he would have liked to. He agreed to do a one-on-one -on -one interview with us, so here it is. I hope you enjoy. If you do, please like uh, and comment and subscribe. Thank so, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really excited to bring on my next guest. So, a lot of a lot of you were asking that you wanted to hear more from Pete. We didn't really get to speak to him much on the Big Brother Seven reunion, and he's joined us now uh, to, for a bit of a catch up. So, how are you, Pete? <laughs> it's a very hard question to ask me. Uh, oh, I'm all right. Oh, look, how am I? Look, I'm I, I'm I'm on, I'm uh, uh, I don't, don't ask me that. How dare you ask me how am I? <laughs> God. You're under a tree. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm under a tree. I'm hiding. The... Hiding from people. No, I'm not hiding. I'm. I'm actually waiting for some mates in Brighton in a bush. Hey, come on, lad. Come on. <laughs> come on. Uh, visit Uncle Pete. Oh, that's weird. I'm d look, the reason I got leggings on is because <laughs> I'm just being bouldering, uh, which is like climbing up a wall. Um, so yeah, it's it, it, it's uh, it's good 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 exercise, and it's um, keeping me out of uh, you know it's good for my mental health yeah. and that you know it's I, I see it as me climbing out of a hole you know what I mean because uh, this whole this whole time has been quite quite detrimental on my mental health and you know so I've been trying to uh, do a lot of um, self love and uh, self care you know looking after number one. And I started uh, bouldering, and, and I see it as climbing out of a hole, you know. It's, it's, it's been a hard time. So, you know, if you want to know how I've been, I've been fucking, like, yeah, I've been really it's, uh, struggling quite a lot, actually. And, and that's probably why I wasn't talking much in the last video. I was, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't get my words out. I didn't feel, about, uh, you know, um, but now I'm, I am feeling uh, a lot better today. I've been bouldering, and I've been, you know, I feel like I've got a window here that I can actually, I've come out of the bit of the darkness, and I've, I've got a bit of a window today to actually yeah. uh, be able to speak and I feel a bit more positive today. You know, I just uh, I'm, I'm in therapy at the moment and um, I'm, you know I'm doing what I can to, to get myself sorted out and that. And yeah, so um, I'm feeling a bit more positive today. I just hope hopefully I don't have a uh, hopefully it lasts for a bit longer this time that I'm in a good space and uh, you know I'm just doing all the things to keep myself <laughs> in good nick. And uh, I've just got some um, good news yesterday about. Um, a couple of films coming in and um so that's nice that in, in in the beginning of september i got a couple of films uh that have just come in one is um one called hitman hitman or something and i'm just some some bloke who's been uh <laughs> tied to a chair by two big hitmen who are who are gonna <laughs> shoot me over a, over a gram of sniff that i didn't um pay back for or something but that's just like a short film i think that's called hitman and that's uh that's i'm looking forward to that uh, and um i've got a uh, yeah, like positive things. There's like I've got an album that I'm, I'm working on at the moment with my mate Gav Gav Control. I'm, um, yeah, we I made loads of songs years ago back when after Big Brother, and um, sadly I didn't I never got them finished, you know, because obviously there was a lot of I was getting pulled in lots of directions. Uh, um, you know, I didn't actually have the uh, I just yeah, no, I, 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 well, I spent all my money on going on tour with this fucking band that I had, and I never really got anywhere. But uh, I should have just spent the money on getting the songs recorded properly, and I didn't actually. <laughs> Whoops, Daisy. But you know, since um, at the beginning of lockdown, I actually started thought I'd get my band back together, and um, the Love Dogs they were called. But uh, COVID nineteen happened, whatever it's called, and um, I ended up. Um, so my mate Gav went, hey, why don't, why don't we just like record and I'll, I'll record all the stuff for you and send it over and you just do the singing because he's a very good guitarist. He does loads of music. Um, you know, he, he has a, a company called Isle Tunes. Like he, make, he, 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 he just like, he can play anything and he's got a recording studio as we can't actually record bands now because of the because of social distancing. He's been very kind to record all the stuff at his, send it over, and I sing I sing the, 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 the stuff on top. So I've been, uh, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of um, uh, practicing my singing, and uh, yeah. The, 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 I think the first uh, um, one is called uh, Snail Killer, and I'm going to be uh, singing about, you know when you accidentally kill snails, and you walk in uh, down the street, yeah. and, and it's like nice, it's wet, and you, you suddenly crunch, fucking hell, there's a, there's a snail on him, and you feel really bad, and... Uh, it's a punk song called Snail Killer. Nothing makes me iller when my feet hit the ground and I hear the crunchy sound. I'm a snail killer. Nothing makes me iller. Yeah. And it's fucking brilliant, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the first one. <laughs> and then superheroes coming out after that. Love Dog. All those, 
all those classics that I did uh, years ago that I never got recorded properly uh, are being um, re-released soon. Hey, so that's, that's good. Amazing. That's got positive stuff, positive yeah. creative stuff. Woo. Love- and um, yeah, my mum, my mum's gonna be. Pl- I've got um, an electronic music coming out as well. Um, I, I, under the name the Daddy, it's another electronic uh, site. If you go to SoundCloud.com, the Daddy, the underscore Daddy is like my le- electronic music there. And my mum's playing the violins for this one, and um, oh. yeah, uh, that's more of an electronic stuff. So I've got electronic music coming out and uh, rock and roll coming out too. It's just you know getting them finished and done. But at the moment, it's quite quite tricky with all this nonsense yeah, cool. happening at the moment to get things done quickly. But I'm doing my best to be creative and and productive and do all the things that make me happy in life at the moment it, 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 but uh, you know um, i can't go to festivals so because <laughs> i do love that i love going to festivals and having a having a having a dance and and, and connecting with people and i love that and i really miss that i really want that and you know it's part of um yeah it's a big part of my life you know i've been going to raves and festivals for years and <laughs> you know and now it's suddenly i can't and uh, it's a little bit strange for me i don't you know it's you know it's it, it, but yeah, I can't wait to get back to, to 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 Glastonbury and you know maybe play there next year. Hopefully, if there is a next year. But yeah, um, all good, mate. So I haven't even asked any questions. I'm just rambling. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's so nice to see because obviously you were on the call the other day, um, and there was a lot of people there. You weren't feeling yourself, but it's so nice because you are such a creative person, and you can see the passion that you've got. I mean, whether it's from your acting, your music. So it must feel good for you now to have so many uh, projects because you've literally got like five or six on the go at, at once haven't you yeah i've also got like green fingers as well i'm in a sitcom at the moment um and it's on um, amazon it's green fingers and um when lockdown happened I, I was editing like two of the episodes number one was done the pilot and then number uh two and three i edited because i edited number three and then uh number two wasn't edited by uh someone else but tim and then i so why don't I take over the edit? Because he had to. Apparently, his missus got got ill or something. So we, I had to take over, and I finished that off for him. So I've been editing loads of. So I've been editing as well, acting in it, acting in it, editing it, making all the music for it. Not all the music, not the theme tune, but two tracks in it. But I'm rapping in that one. I'm rapping number three, but and then number four's come along as well because I did number four with Ross Lee. Um, he's, a, he's he was in Bo Selector and that and Balls and the Steel. Oh, you have to check him out, Ross. Lee, yeah, balls are still Ross Lee. Yeah, that's I him. Remember him. Oh, he's great. Wow. He's a new friend of mine. He's <laughs> mental, mate. He's one. He's one of my favourites. Uh, um, don't get jealous of one, but he's a nut and he's funny. But I love you too, Belton. I'm, I'm not saying that he's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Belton's great too. Great. Uh, who I do? Who I do Green Fingers with as well. He, he's another favourite of mine. Uh, yeah, and um, but like yeah. So, uh, but the thing is about number four, I couldn't edit number four because uh, they went, they went and recorded it in 4K, and my computer can't handle 4K. I can only handle 1080p so uh, yeah i've had to send it back it took me took me years of of trying to work out how to edit it and i couldn't and so i've had to send it back so i can't edit number four but i will edit number five i tell you this much maybe if i can be bothered <laughs> but yeah it's just like but yeah but it's really it's just it's one awards it's called green fingers it's about two gardeners i'm called des belton's called bob and i am uh the the the, the, the dimwit in this in this scenario and it's just about you know what kind of like a it's kind of like a situational comedy about two gardeners who get into all sorts of trouble. And it's, uh, yeah, it's won awards now. And it's, um, uh, I can't remember what, where I, I got in the, um, Catherine Tate is another film. I've just been, uh, which is look, looking forward to that. Um, on the 2nd of October, I think that the, this Nan's, it's called Nan the movie by Catherine Tate. Are, are and, you um, in that? Yeah. Did you not know wow. that? Oh, you didn't know that, did you? Well, <laughs> I, I love that show. Yeah, yeah. I love Catherine Tate too, and it was like, um, um, yeah, I've got a thing saying, hey, we need a guy with Tourette's to, to, to audition for Catherine Tate's new film. I don't know anyone uh, who's got that, but um, I'll give it a go. <laughs> uh, so I, bought, I, got, I went down to London, and um, there was a guy sitting there, and he was like, hey, Pete. And I was like, hi. And he goes, I want to finger your dad. And I was like, oh, shit, man. Nice to meet you too. Um, so uh, he was obviously the other guy who was yeah <laughs> auditioning for the for the role and he kept saying he wanted to like oh give me cancer and stuff like that and i was like shit man he's got he's got some good tourettes going on here like so um i, I had to up my game a bit and um <laughs> i walked in there and um you know I, I had to i had to swear at a camera like really like just swear loads at this camera anyway uh i thought god i hope i get it and then yeah, i got i got a call back so i went down to london 
I was like, and then it, there's that bloke again going, hey, Pete, I want to finger your dad. I was like, nice to see you, man. <laughs> Shit, oh my God, here, he's got, he's, he's got through as well to the second round. I was like, right now, I'm never going to get this part. But then I went in there. Catherine Tate's sitting there and he's like, oh, hello, I love you from the telly. <laughs> I was like, shit, myself. And that made me feel so much more like, at ease because I was really nervous yeah. about meeting Catherine Tate but she was there going, oh my God, it's you off the telly. So I ended up, um, yeah, so the audition started. I got up, called her all the names under the sun <laughs> and she loved it. She laughed her head off. I just called her, I just like ripped the, sh ripped the shit out of her and she also ripped the piss out of me as well. Um, but she could tell that she absolutely loved it and, um, I, I came out going, yes, bruv. I just smashed it by calling her a ginger twat. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up, um, I, I thought by but that other guy, I thought, oh no, he's going to smash it. He's going to he's gonna say to Catherine Tate, I'm going to finger your dad. And I was like, oh no, I'm, he's going to get the part as well. So I went home feeling a bit defeated. But no one be told, I uh, got a call back next week saying, Pete, you've got the role. <laughs> wow. So there you go. I was like, yes, mate. I just got in Catherine Tate's film. So um, went down to went to Dublin and uh, there I was. There she is, dressed as a nan, and oh, I um, and I, it's the most trippiest thing I've ever done. Just seeing Catherine Tate dressed as a nan with all this crew, and I was like, oh my god, I'm actually in the Catherine Tate. It was the, it was one of the highlights of this whole acting thing I've got into, and um, it's going to be at the cinema. Well, hopefully, you know, it will be at the yeah. cinema. That's the dream, you know, get in the cinema, see me on the big screen, and. Even even for a short while, it'll be it'll be a dream accomplished. Another one in the bag, you know. So yeah. <laughs> Did you meet Matthew on. Horn? Uh, um, yeah, I met Matthew Horn as well. Yeah. Yeah, because he's in that. I isn't met he? Matthew and I met Catherine and uh, yeah. He, 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 he seemed a bit shocked because at the at the uh, poor bugger, he, he we was there's a scene in Catherine Tate's film where we're all sitting there naked, um, but and the only one who isn't naked is um, Matthew himself and you see him like sitting there going oh my god I'm in a room of naked people and I was like right next to him my tadger hanging out going all right mate <laughs> <laughs> giving him a wink like that and you could see how uncomfortable as soon as it, the director said cut he legged it out of the room and I was like poor bugger anyway but yeah um yeah there we go he's in a nice blade and um Catherine Tate's absolutely lovely I, I recommend her she's a lovely person and um yeah it's really lovely meeting her yeah, so I'm loving this. It's on. so nice to see you so happy and positive. Um, you know, it really oh, is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a little window of positivity I've got yeah. through this at the moment, so I'm going to roll with it. Ho hopefully, it will last a little bit longer than a day. But you know, I am I am working on my mental health right now, which hasn't been the best. And obviously, it's, I mean, we're all in it. We're all in this in this boat at the moment, and a lot of us are struggling. And just want to tell everyone that we're all in it together, and I'm, you're not the only one. I'm fucking mental as well. <laughs> so, you know, um, yeah, don't feel alone. You know what I mean? Just uh, remember that if you start speaking to people about it, you'll realise that they're actually going through the same thing as well. And, and you can still feel a little bit more connected to people. And it's, it's quite hard to tell everyone that how, 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 how difficult, like and how, how sad and how depressed and lonely you're feeling. It's really difficult. You don't want to lump it on people. But if you do sometimes talk to people, they actually are say they actually um, they actually say it too. They they agree and they say, yeah, actually, you know, I am actually uh, feeling the same way. And it's it's a nice it's nice. And you can start talking on a deeper level about things. Not all this like mask yeah. on kind of talking. It's nice to talk to someone on a deeper level who actually you realise that the whole fucking country has has mental health problems. It's not just you know. It's, it's really it's really quite. It's quite, it's quite a nice nice feeling at the same time as you know so, so yeah don't be scared <laughs> talk to people just talk to people you know what I mean? um and i am i'm being much more honest with it now because the more i hold it in the more alone and like kind of scared i feel and um it's nice to be able to to uh to feel uh, um confident about opening up to people it's, it's nice it's a nice way to yeah i'm just saying like yeah don't be scared and if anyone wants to chat to me it's time just like give me a little Give me a little message and I'll just like give them a little bit of positivity back. And anyone wants to fucking get me to like give them any like uh, positive um, messages to people, go to hydols.com, H I D O L S.com and search for Pete Bennett. And I can send anyone a positive message to anyone. And it's only 20, I'm cheapest on there, 20 quid I am. I'm really cheap, but I'm the best. Remember that. <laughs> There's lots of really high end like celebrities on there, but they're loads of money. But who wants them? You want Pete? <laughs> Pete, for 20 quid to send someone a positive message it's really fun i'm doing uh doing, i've done quite a lot of like birthday messages happy birthday and positivity just to keep people going in this in this weird time we're having but yeah bollocks to it um 
Right, so anyway, how are you? Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's good. And I mean, I, I want to ask you a couple of questions on Big Brother, but you know, I'm going to keep it positive and not ask anything uh, negative. So I want to talk about for you, is there anything that stands out as like a really funny moment of your when you were in the house? Something that when you think back to it kind of makes you laugh? No, I don't actually um, remember much of it. I mean, there are like glimpses of things that happened i don't really remember much i don't if i can really think about it there's one time when i wrote dicky um a, a song called stuff your face with my sugary love and um yeah it was like a best friend task we all had to choose an instrument and i grabbed the keyboard because i can play the keyboard and uh, yeah. i wrote song a song for dicky and they went, hey, Dickie, this song's for you. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, Dickie, you know it's true. Dun, 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 dun. Bold head and makeup too. Bah, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I want to make love to you. Stuff your face with my sugary love. Stuff your face with my sugary love. Stuff your face with my sugary love. <laughs> I treat you mean if you treat me tough. And um, he fucking loved it. He was like, yes, mate. And everyone clapped. And I remember that was one of my highlights of coming up with a really catchy song. And um, I, I think I, 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 I smashed that. That's one of my highlights, honestly. That little song I made for Dickie, and oh, and you know, Glyn, Glyn, Leah, and Richard have been my, um, my, my, my three true like friends who've stayed. Um, you know, we've all like had a little crew. Me, Leah, Dickie, and Richard have been the main guys who I've kept in contact with since Big Brother, and uh, and uh, I'll love them. I love them. I love them. I do love them, and the rest of them. But you know, obviously, they they've been my four main guys, and you know. There's, there's some lovely, lovely other ones too. Uh, oh, Jenny, you recently have been come. She come back to, and I've been chatting to her again. And there's Bonnie's come back to chat to me, and uh, it's really nice though. This whole Big Brother Union thing has made us connect again, and that's a really, a really nice feeling. And um, yeah, so sweet, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not complaining. It's nice. Uh, there are there are some up, up, up upsides to this whole COVID thing. There are different. We've connected to people on other levels. Yeah. Only through Zoom and shit, though. But, you know, it's nice to see old faces in a way, you know. You know what I mean? What I so do I want to ask look... you is, you know, when you won the show, because um, you went in there and at the time you educated the nation on Tourette's because a lot of people weren't aware of it as such. And then, you know, we're seeing someone over a course of a summer who, who lives with Tourette's. So, the, you know, you won the show. The public loved you. You were so genuine. So how did it feel <laughs> for you? Did it feel kind of like acceptance? Did you feel that love? Like, how did that make you feel? Well, I um, came out of the house and I, I, I felt like my whole life had tur tur turned another leaf, you know, because uh, I, <clears throat> I, I changed the way, I changed my surround, my, my, my surroundings. Because before Big Brother, I was always, uh, you know, I'd, I'd get into a lot of trouble. I'd, I'd shout wankers quite a lot back in the day <clears throat> and uh, ended up, um, yeah, saying wanker at the wrong time before big brother and i get into a lot of fights a lot of scrapes and a lot of like you know nearly getting my head kicked in because <coughs> wank! see as soon as i talk about tourettes i start twitching now it's like a <laughs> yeah. kind of remembering that i've got it uh, but yeah so but but when after big brother though like instead of people um saying oh why would you call me a wanker they said um hey pete why didn't you call me a wanker so in a way, it kind of Completely turned changed. things around on its head and uh, people loved it when I called him a wanker instead of, you know, me getting beaten up. So that helped me uh, be accepted in life. It helped me relax. And it also helped a lot of kids, a lot of adults, whoever had Tourette's or different um, disabilities or, you know, differences who, who, um, <coughs> who, who struggle to feel accepted in this world. And, you know, I still get messages from people who, who say, Pete, you've helped me accept myself um, and uh, I love you and all this stuff. And, uh, you know, I still get it now. And they don't even have Tourette's. Some of them don't even have Tourette's. You know, there's people who just have different illnesses or different anxieties or problems. And uh, for some reason, I've sort of given out a little bit of a positive, positive message and made people accept themselves somehow. But there you go. <laughs> it's sweet, mate. You know, I gave, and I gave like all the uh, winning, winnings to my mum and I got her a house. Uh, in France, I didn't spend it on drugs or like fucking Simon Gross said. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, and I gave the um, I gave the uh, charity money to the Tourette's Syndrome Association, and they and and it helped a load of Tourette's kids uh, have 
camps and and meet up with other Tourette people and feel a bit more accepted and not so lonely. And so it helped to tr- ha- help it helps a lot of people, right? It helps yeah. a lot of people. And I fucking feel really proud of myself. And you should, and you know, it's, it's fuck the media. I'm really <laughs> glad that you took part in this thing because I know that you were, screwed o- you were screwed over recently by a- another journalist. And I'm glad that you've actually been able to come on here today and have a positive interview and just share what you're doing because the passion that you have has come out today in abundance. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. That's all right. I'm getting rained on as well. I'm getting rained on, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting so wet. I'm, I'm under a tree. It's actually pissing it down. I'm actually, I'm actually getting wet. This tree isn't helping at all. I'm getting soaking wet. Shit, man. Ah, oh, fucking hell. What's going on? Don't fuck about. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's hard. It is hard. It is hard. To, it is hard. I, you know, the media, bloody hell, man. They can really fuck your head. And it's a shame. It's a shame because, like, I want to, I want to be a positive role model. And uh, I've had my problems, and I've got through them, and I've, <clears throat> and I've got my, I've got my career, and I've got my, you know, I'm just, I'm just a struggling human being like everyone else. You know what I mean? So what if I got fucking high years ago? <laughs> I got high. Who cares? You know what I mean? Let's just have. I just, I was a raver. I was a twenty-year-old raver. You know what I mean? And I went to, and I, and I had a, and I had a good time. You know what I mean? Doesn't, yeah. doesn't make me a bad person. I've got a good fucking heart, you know. And, uh, uh, and I like to, I like to help people. And you know, I, you know, I want, I want everyone else to just be a bit more fucking support each other and stop being so, stop being vampires and just be nice to each other, and accept each other, and have a fucking good time. And you know, like, Jesus Christ, it's, it's, it's really hard to be, to be, uh, for me to enjoy myself. Uh, uh, anymore you know because i don't i just I feel like I'm, I'm from another planet it does my head in you know what i mean so yeah but there are some there are lots of things that, you know just want everyone to just uh <laughs> jesus christ i'm getting wet <laughs> anyway sorry i'm just being a bit like uh whoa oh my god help me i'm getting wet not in a good way yeah. <laughs> i mean I was, I, was, I was getting wet in a good way the hair's oh, just getting wetter wet. and wetter by the minute <laughs> bloody hell this is mad but no you're making me wet man you. you're making me wet <laughs> oh, there we go. That's something I didn't think would happen. <laughs> you made me wet, man. But no, honestly, uh, Pete, thank you so much for coming on today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, safe, man. And um, that's, all, that's all good. Um, but thank you. And I hope. Um... Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to watch more of me, uh, Redneck's new comeback single is coming out soon with me in it. Uh, that's going to be a sick music video. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, search for Redneck, R-E-D-N-E-K. Also, um, uh, <laughs> a film I did a couple of years ago um, called I Need Help um, is on YouTube now. If you want to check it out, it's about uh, mental health and it's pretty fucking get damn good, I, I think. So if you want to check me out <laughs> doing a bit of uh, serious acting, then uh, check out I Need Help on YouTube. He's a manner. <laughs>